By the end of this video you'll know how to create an effective project and task management system that displays the progress of your projects and also makes use of self-referencing template buttons. Let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is create a new project and task database and add a relation property so we can connect them with each other. In our task database we're going to add a checkbox property and in our projects database we're going to add two rollup properties. The first rollup is going to count a total of checked checkboxes and the second is going to count all of the checkboxes. Next we're going to add a formula property that divides the completed with the total and then multiplied by 100 to get the percentage. We're also going to add a round function to get rid of any decimals. Now we can move on to the progress bar. For your progress bar you need both a solid and an empty version of the creative character you want to use to display the progress of your projects. Check the video description for creative characters you can use in your progress bar. The progress bar consists of three parts. Solid characters, empty characters and the percentage. For the solid and empty characters we'll be using the slice function. The slice function returns a segment of provided text depending on the start and end points. For the text we're going to be using our 10 solid circles and for the start point we're going to use 0. The end point is going to be the percentage of our total tasks completed divided by 10 so that our end point has a value between 1 and 10. Before we move on to the empty characters, run your formula and make sure everything is working correctly. After your solid characters are in place, you want to add a plus and duplicate the formula for your empty characters. Replace your 10 solids with your 10 empties, add a floor function to the start of your percentage property and subtract it all by 10. Go ahead and run your formula and make sure everything is working correctly before you move on to the next step. The last part of our progress bar is displaying the percentage. Add a plus, a space inside quotation marks and another plus. Then add your percentage property with a format function in the beginning so that the percentage number can be viewed as text. And then lastly, inside quotation marks, add the percentage symbol. If you followed each step correctly, you now should have a working progress bar. The next step in creating an effective progress tracker is to add the element of time. Add the date property to your projects database and create a new calendar view so you can schedule and add deadlines to your projects. Do the same for your tasks database and use this as your main calendar for adding and scheduling tasks for the day, week and month ahead. In your task database you can add filtered list views to show tasks due today, tasks due after today and unscheduled tasks grouped according to their project. The last thing we're going to do for your project and task management system is adding self-referencing template buttons. All you have to do is just create a new template button, add your icon and add a linked view of your task database filtered to the current template button. So each time you create a new project you can just click on the template button and it will generate an icon and also a task database only showing tasks relating to the current project. You can also add template buttons to your task database and add the relevant project into the relation property. You can find this progress tracker down in the description alongside my aesthetic Notion OS dashboard. This dashboard already has this project and task management system built in and also comes with 8 life management templates including a finance tracker and a YouTube workflow. This dashboard is designed to feed your focus so you can stop prioritizing your schedule and start scheduling your priorities. You can check out this dashboard through the first link in the description.